Welcome everybody to NorthCarolinaFoodStamps.net. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply for food stamps in the state of North Carolina. Uh, first thing, make sure you go to www.NorthCarolinaFoodStamps.net. When you do that, you will come on this site here, which will provide you with a lot of good information regarding the application process, uh, the requirements, and how, how to go about the application. Uh, I've gone a step further and made it even easier for you that if you fill in your information here in this box, would you like a food stamp application? Put your name, your email, uh, click on yes. You will instantly get an email with two links. The first link is for your food stamp application. The second link is to help you locate the nearest local office to turn your application into. Uh, this will also allow you to get good helpful information uh, in the future that will help you get through these tough times. Um, let's go ahead and start. So let's click on the food stamp application link and that will take you here. Now you're going to need to go ahead and print this um, application out. Okay, here we are. It's pretty much uh, self-explanatory. Uh, here you're going to fill in your name, social security number, date of birth, sex, if you're a U.S. citizen, the language you speak, your race, your ethnic group, phone number, your address, and you're going to sign off on it. And let's keep going here. Now you're just going to have to go through these questions and fill them in. Uh, this part here, they're asking if you need an authorized representative to help you get and use your foods, food and nutrition services. If for some reason you want to delegate um, this to someone, let's say you can't make an appointment for the um, application, you like somebody to attend the appointment for you, or you would, have, you would like someone to be authorized to go ahead and use your food stamp debit card, this is where you would do it. Uh, the next part is telling you about the emergency food stamps. Um, emergency food stamps, if you qualify, you will get approved for your food stamps within seven calendar days, so that's very important. You're asking if you need assistance completing the form. Here they want to they want you to list everyone who lives with you, even if they're not relatives. So make sure you go ahead and put their social security number, their date of birth, their age. Uh, they want to know does everyone in your home buy food and cook meals together? So you click that off. And just go through the questions. I mean they're all self-explanatory. Like I said, it should take you about 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, they're going to ask you a question about your income, how much you're making. You're going to have to submit that. They're going to want to know about your expenses, which include rent, mortgage, utilities, uh, daycare expenses, insurance, property taxes, all those good things. They're going to ask you questions about your assets. Assets include bank accounts, checking account, a saving account, uh, CDs, stocks, bonds, investments. Uh, you're going to have to disclose those amounts. And I'm going to keep scrolling down here. Here, talking about your assets, which includes, it does include a, a car, so you're going to have to list your car. Okay. All right, here's important. It says, do not write in the gray shaded area. So all this here, we do not write in here. What money do people in your household get from work? So this is the part I was talking about, your income. You would list your name, your employer, your gross pay, and how often you're paid, and what day is the payday. And they just have more specific question. Is anyone getting ready to start a new job? Has anyone stopped working the past 60 days? Just read those and fill them in. Like, don't forget, don't write in the gray area. <laughs> Uh, if you get money from any other source, they want to know about it, social security, child support, uh, if you get payments from a sale of an asset, they want to know about it, uh, here's your bills, your, your rent, mortgage, property taxes, homeowner dues, your utilities, Okay, so it's pretty much, I mean, it's like I said, read through the questions, fill in the blanks, 
and you should be all set. And you sign off on it. If you can't sign, you're going to have a need a witness. If you can just make an X, you need a witness. But more likely, just go ahead and sign off on it. Just please, please read this information. Make sure you read through that. And you are finished. Now, go back to the email that you received, and you're going to click on local office. Okay. Now, go ahead and find your county. I'm just going to use one here for example. And the information comes up. The address and the fax number and the phone number. Um, mo in most cases, you can fax in your um, applications, which is, you know, it gets approved quicker, I believe. You might want to call just to make sure. If they do accept faxes, go ahead and fax it over. Usually I like to fax it twice, about in a minute part, just to make sure they got it. And keep your receipt from your fax machine that claim, you know, that states that they received it at the other end, gives you a time, date, attach that to your application, keep that somewhere safe, just in case something happens, you're going to have your proof that you did send it and when you did send it. Um, I mean, that pretty much covers it. Um, like I said, on the www.NorthCarolinaFoodStamps.net site, go ahead and sign up, put your name, your email, and then you will start getting free information. If for any reason you'd like for the emails to stop, there's an unsubscribe link in the emails. Just click on the unsubscribe link and you'll be off the mailing list. For everybody else who would like to receive the emails, I'll be talking and seeing you guys soon. Take care and have a good day.